As we inch closer and closer to the summer games, Casey Scott is highlighting a Paris Olympic sport right here in Utah. Take a look. 101 days away from the opening ceremonies for the Paris Olympics. But there's a lot of sports right here in our own state that you can get involved with and get ready for when the Olympics happen. I'm here with Ron at Wasatch Fencing, and uh, you've been fencing for how many years now? Uh, 40 plus years. Now, is this a passion? Is this a love? Is this a way of life? All of them. It's, it's really all of it. So this club started 40 years ago. And we basically developed because we thought kids should be in sports, and we just happen to be fencers, and so we have a fencing club. All right, and behind us we've got students who are uh, practicing fencing, but they've got three different types of fencing here. That's correct. So we have foil, epee, and saber, and two of them are point weapons, meaning you have to hit with the point. And then saber is the one weapon you can actually cut, make a cut or a cutting action. Now this here. first one we got going brings sibling rivalry to a new level. You could say that. This is uh, Gabe and Meredith Carrier. And they're both very talented fencers. They've been fencing for eight plus years. And uh, Gabe is actually the top, one of the top juniors in the country. He's currently ranked number 10. And in Y14, his sister, Meredith, is actually a, a top 20 fencer in the country as well. Now, on this one right here, are they just trying to uh, get the point across? Right, so the idea is pretty simple. They're fencing epe. It's the easiest to understand because it's who hits who first. And everything is targeted. They can hit each other on the foot or the mask or the body or the hand, anywhere. All right, now if we can get Gabe and them to stop, we'll go over to the next one real quick. What do we have right here? So this is Saber, kind of a thing. So Saber is actually the one weapon where you can still hit with a point, but it's actually a cutting weapon. So as you can see, it's very fast and very quick. Everything above the waist is target area. So you can see that they're trying to like not get hit and hit. Okay, and then we're gonna have them break and we're gonna come back here to our last two. And what do we have here? So these four gentlemen are fencing foil. Foil is another point weapon. But the difference between foil and epee is, is that you can see they're wearing kind of that dark jacket. It's made of stainless steel. Yeah. They have to hit that jacket in order to score a point. If they hit anywhere else, the light goes off and the action stops, but they can't score. All right, and one last thing. Uh, in about two weeks, a big fencing competition comes to Utah. Tell me about that. Right, so it's the North American Cup that's in Salt Lake City, and it's going to be featuring all of the Div 1 fencers, the best fencers in the country. We have filled a lot of our Olympic spots for the U.S. Olympic team, but there's still some spots that they're going to be vied for at that competition in Salt Lake City. All right, getting you ready for the Olympics, hanging out with Wasatch Fencing. Real quick, on guard. All right, Casey, that's cool that's going to be happening here. Yeah. Hey, having grown up with four brothers, I think I'd be very good at that. I had, ah. to, I had to hold my own, so I'm pretty sure I'd be pretty I'm, good. I'm sure you got into some duels. <laughs>